carbon capture and storage. How CSAV will be climate positive by 2030. In CSAV's waste to energy plant, we incinerate waste, which cannot or should not be recycled, and recover the energy for district heating and electricity. But energy recovery generates large amounts of carbon dioxide. This is where carbon capture and storage, CCS, comes into play. CSAV has the ambition to be climate positive by 2030, and we plan to add a carbon capture facility to our waste to energy plant. This is how it works. When we incinerate waste, a flue gas is formed, which contains high levels of carbon dioxide. Before it exits the stack, the flue gas is cleaned from particulates, heavy metals and other pollutants. With CCS, an additional process is introduced before the flue gas exits the stack. In the new process, the flue gas is scrubbed, where the carbon dioxide is captured in a solvent instead of releasing it into the atmosphere. The solution containing carbon dioxide is transferred to the next process step, where it is heated. When heated, the carbon dioxide is released from the solution as a gas, and in the following process, it is purified, cooled, and compressed into a liquid to be more easily transported. The solvent, which has released the carbon dioxide, returns to the scrubbing stage and is used again. The liquefied carbon dioxide is transported to a site where it can be used as a resource or to a final storage site where it is permanently stored in the bedrock at a depth of at least 800 meters. By implementing CCS, we can reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by up to 90%, corresponding to about half of Malmö's fossil emissions today. Reducing carbon dioxide emissions is absolutely crucial for the climate, and this is CSAV's contribution towards our common goals. Follow our journey at csav.se.